Hey, what is going on, you thirsty thwacky? Today we're playing some games with the deck I just used to win an online tournament. It's this mad party build I played in the uh, no ADP tournament where the only card that was banned in it, besides the standard format, in the standard format with the card banned was ADP Zation, um, which definitely bodes better for mad party. I'm not saying it's a tier one deck or anything when ADP is not around, but the uh, the deck becomes a ton better because that was one of its definitely rougher matchups to try and deal with was the ADP Zation. Um, so let's get into the list. I want to give a big shout out to Little Dark Fury uh, for the original list. Um, I didn't change a whole ton. I changed a couple cards uh, here and there. Uh, I think he had comms and a second air balloon. I went with incense and just the one air balloon. But yeah, not too much different than what he had. Uh, the big deal in this deck is the Dugong Roxy's package, which is like super sick for knocking out stuff like Jirachis or Zigzagoons. Um, taking two AKOs against stuff like a Baby Blounds deck, you can knock out the Blown plus a Jirachi and so on. And it was a ton of help. Um, I just kind of like was having a ton with a ton of fun with Dugong when I was playing the deck when I was trying it out after he did well in uh, one of the Hegster online tournaments. So I had to give it a shot and yeah, ended up winning the whole thing, taking down um, I don't even remember what I beat in the taking down a Luke Metalization in the finals, um, which is definitely a, a favorable matchup as well. But yeah, ton of fun to play. No ADP, so the deck definitely gets quite a bit stronger in the meta overall for that tournament. Um, so I just wanted to show the list over to you guys. I'm um, going to give a put links down there to little for Little Dark Fury in the description, his Twitter, his Twitch. Um, besides the Dugong Roxy engine, it's a pretty straightforward Night March. Not Night March. Law, Mad Party. I almost said Lost March. I almost said Night March, Lost March. No, Mad Party build. You got the 4-4, four, four, Pulte Guys, 4 Bunny, 4 Dedenne, 4 Versa Rhyme, of course. Uh, Mew to protect the bench, stuff like the Bird Trio deck going around, Cramorant, Snipe Your Dedenne, this isn't fun, so you got the Mew in there. Um, the Guru to kind of help us protect our top deck, play around Marnie, as well as protecting energies from Dedenne changes and Professor Researches, and then you got 2 Dedenne, no Crobat, uh, and an Eldegoss for the uh, ability Pokemon draw support in the deck. Um, yeah, 2 Dedenne one Eldegoss, just in case we need them. You never really want to use them, but I feel like a Dedenne usually makes its way into play almost every game, and then Eldegoss sometimes makes its way into, makes its way into play to, like, close out games. Um, yeah, like I said, the only difference is, I think, from Little Dark Fury's list was I didn't play the comms. I just wanted the incense. They're a little bit more aggressive, just making sure you get a Pokemon out of the deck and not putting anything back in the deck, uh, which can be a little bit annoying when all you have is, like, Mad Partiers, and you're trying to get as many out of the deck as possible. And then uh, he had two Air Balloon, I think, in his most recent list, and I ended up going with just the one. Um, it was a little scary at multiple points throughout the tournament. I had some close games where I had to constantly like twin energy retreat stuff because my air balloon was gone or I couldn't find it. So um, definitely felt a little iffy, but felt like I just, had, I just had just enough gas usually most games to be able to pull out dubs, despite my opponent's win condition just kind of being bring up my Orangaroo or Dedenne or whatever and try and stall me out, which uh, maybe lost. I think I lost one game that way actually for sure. Um, but yeah, that's the list. I don't got anything else to say about it. Check out. My Twitch stream, uh, twitch.tv slash AzulGG. I'm streaming over there every single day right now. PTCGO, sometimes other stuff, but a whole lot of PTCGO. So go check that out. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. First link in the description below. And then put Little Dark Fury's links in there as well. Check out his uh, YouTube channel and his Twitter. Um, he's always coming up with crazy fun decks over there. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, we're into our first game. I know I think in my last couple of Mad Party videos, I've been like undecisive about first or second. I'm pretty confident going second is just optimal with mad party i'm like pretty set in stone on going second with uh with the mad party from here on out i think i'm not digging the going first at all anymore anymore don't like it doesn't feel very good at all it's really hard to set up a bunch of dudes and stuff and get the deck really flowing so we uh yeah, way bigger fan <laughs> of going second getting some senesis out and then starting to swing so it looks like our opponent is playing a Zation deck of some sort, ADP Zation, Luke Metalization, some other kind of Zation, who knows, we're going to find out. Probably don't need Mew in this matchup, but we could use it to clean up a knockout later on. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it up here. Uh, now I'm kind of indecisive, actually. Quick ball away, Dedenne for sure. I think I'm just going to go with the Research here. I could grab something else and just go with Roxy and have Research for next turn, I guess, as well. I kind of just want to grab a Senesti, and then, well, we don't have that many <laughs> supporters in our deck. Uh, all right, I'll grab Senesti here. Uh, yeah, grab Senesti win and then i have to debate if i want to bench the mew or not not really just gonna go with the research if it is adp zation we kind of want to get off to a fast start so i'm, whoa, I'm definitely thinking about that i changing here to get up to 120 we'd be one knockout short so we're gonna start with this great ball or one hit short of a knockout here i'm gonna go for it if it is adp zation we want to hit very hard very fast that's why the matchup is so tough um 
you have to go really, really hard, really fast. And then sometimes us going so hard, so fast leaves us with two, two projects in play. And even though we get these early hits, early knockouts, our opponent just comes back and knocks out two of our the Denes or the Dene Eldegoss or something. Oh, I think we're just going to be 10 short here. Yeah, we're just a little bit short here. I could have, instead of getting that Senesti, I didn't think I didn't think I was going to draw into that many. That felt like a pretty lucky draw on my end. I didn't think I was going to draw that well at all, as well as I drew there into, what, four mad parties? We can still clean up this guy off the bench, actually, with a Roxy. Um, we're kind of low on draw supporters right now. Yeah, I did not think I was going to draw into that many mad parties alongside the uh, Dedenne. That felt a little bit lucky, but we can still clean this up with a Roxy, actually. We can top deck a Quick Ball or the Eldegoss or the, or the Roxy. I think we prized one of our Roxy in one of our researches. So we have... Uh, one Roxy left in deck, I believe. Yeah, I think there's one left in there. If we topic that or the Eldegoss, can KO this through using that. There's a Mawile. Oh, no. Well, uh, it's still a pretty good play if we can pull it off, I guess. Uh, there's a Zamazenta as well. They're definitely going to throw down our Coughing. Oh, no, Dedene is even better, right? It's less damage. Yeah, Dedene and Dedene hit the bench here. And now we're in big trouble. Yeah. This is not looking good at all. Unless our opponent just doesn't have anything this turn. And even then, though, I think we'd also have to, like, top deck a Roxy. Or at least maybe, uh... No, I can't even draw any cards now with the Poltegeist. Yeah, Roxy would be a pretty sick top deck still, though. Yeah, Roxy's a pretty sick, sick top deck here still. Here comes an E-Switch to the active. Oh, no. Is he going to hard retreat it? There's the Dede change. I think they're an attachment away. Are they an attachment away? Are they already attached here? Oh, they got one up there? Oh, yeah, I think... No, they would have attached then. They're an E-Switch away. They're an E-Switch away. E switch away from knocking us out. They know my hand is dead and I'm living off my top deck. Um, started playing really slow there though. Uh, they still have a supporter. Nope, there's the E switch. Yeah, the power beam. Wait, what? Well, now I'm just confused. I have no idea what's going on. Are they gonna just metal sharpener? Maybe they play Zigzagoon and they're just gonna wait to use Zigzagoon to clean it up. Maybe they have the Zigzagoon in hand. The E switches do tell us that it is ADP station, almost 100%. Um, there's a boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works too. The Metal Sharpener take take out my Senesti. That's even... Eh, is it that much better? I don't know. This is my energy and they knew my hand was dead. I feel like knocking out the bunny is a little bit better. Um, especially not setting up this guy. I don't... Mm. Yeah, I feel like taking out my bunny was a little bit better. Alright, another Senesti. Mad party. Let's see if the prize card's any good. Hopefully it's a Roxy. We did prize a Roxy. Nope. Oh, it's a Pulte Geist though. Do need a top deck, a Mad Party here to go with it currently hitting for we'll be hitting for 140 once this bundle goes down we'll be taking a big one hit ko's um next turn probably uh but set up for that two hit ko on it uh viridian force is good for us as well that means we can uh just discard extra mad partiers that are in our hand chilling that we can't you know we run out of tea breaks or quick balls or can't research whatever it might be don't have a roxy for the turn can still get them discarded uh, we don't play a stadium ourselves which uh, can be a little bit of trouble sometimes, but it feels like it's never that bad. Uh, here comes an E-Switch. They're going to just settle for going for the Assault Tackle. Just being aggressive here um, with this Amazenta. I mean, they could even get into a situation where they actually just go Zamazenta KO, Zamazenta KO, and then they go ADP GX attack and then just boss KO to Dene. And then we'd be kind of in trouble. Especially, yeah, not getting this one shot on this Zamazenta here is going to be tough. Uh, I mean, we just had a kind of a tough game. This Eldegoss put a big stop in any of our... <laughs> Just forward momentum at all. We're not moving anywhere right now. It's uh, gonna be a little bit slow for sure. Um, yeah, I could have had that one shot on the. I'm thinking back to that turn where I had that. Could have had the one K on the Dragoon if I didn't quick ball for a Senesti and I instead I quick balled for a, I don't know, a Dene or something. I was just thinking I'm not gonna probably get it, so I'd rather set up for more Pulte Geists on following turns, which is the big deal to get out as many of these guys as possible. All right, I am gonna go and hide a triple acceleration energy here with this Guru. Hopefully hit a Roxy still. It's on that Roxy train. It's a bunny. Um, I know what my top deck is, and I don't like it. It's a triple. But I don't think I want to reinforce the way a... Uh, eh, let's do it. Get rid of this. Shuffle up that top card. If we do get a Roxy. Hopefully we get another supporter to go with it. We don't have a ton of su draw supporters left in deck. Let's see how this goes. Got an Evolution Incense. We could... We can incense, grab another Poltegeist, and we can quick ball away this Weezing. All right, sure, sure, sure. Grab another Dedene, draw some more cards. A research at this point would be sick. We only have one left in the deck. Actually, even a uh, a boss here would be not that bad. I don't even know if I want to use this Great Ball. We're hitting for 
Um, 180 right now. So we're like three dudes shorts. I guess we just need to hit this hard. At least hit it, right? I feel like we gotta at least hit this thing. All right, sure. Mad party. Punch it. Who knows if we'll be able to get the one hit KO next turn anyways. Even if they do knock us out. Um, but here they could definitely just go into the ADP and GX attack. And at that point, we're just gonna be in trouble. We can't want to KO the ADP. It's so hard for us to get to that. We can get to that 300 damage point, but it's so hard to get there this early on. Yeah, we see them attached to the ADP. Or he ADP. Here comes the GX attack, and we're just gonna get stopped in our tracks here. Almost certainly, our one out here actually is in one hit KO, or we can knock out the Zamazenta. All right, hold up, hold up. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We could go. We need boss for the Zam, so I think I'm thin this out first. Try and grab exactly what I want. There we go. All right. Let's break the oh, Pulte Geist, because it's probably going to be hard to get into a Pulte Geist again here. Okay. Uh, T break the bunny. Looking for a boss. I think we have some of those left. No boss yet. Hold on. We can Primate Wisdom. Put a triple back. Drew a another Tenesti. All right. Well. Maybe they won't be able to ultimate ray next turn. We can hope. Grab absolutely nothing. Attach a triple. And mad party. So we're going to hit him for what? What do we get? 220. We were looking for our boss's orders there on the Zamazenta. Theoretically, if we KO'd that, we could have KO'd something else as well. One of these guys. We'll probably go after the Zam there. Knock out Zam. They knock out this. We could get our last bunny into our discard pile and the, one of the Pulte Geists. We could have one hit KO'd this on the following turn. Uh, and maybe win the game. And if we KO this, they don't have an attacker besides the ADP, which they wouldn't want to send up. But maybe they wouldn't be able to set up the Zation to attack. They did have a Metal Saucer and probably an E-Switch left. So it was possible Zation was attacking next turn. Uh, which would also still just put us in a pretty bad spot. But if they had whiffed that, then we had a chance. But here comes Ultimate Ray. We can't draw uh, five prize cards in a turn. If we had the Dugong down, I actually would have been able to. We could have gone KO Zamazenta, KO ADP. Never really had a bench space to work with it, though. Maybe I could have played into it a little bit better, but I feel like I had to put out these Pulte guys to even get to this point to be able to attack this ADP. The Guru maybe could have been held back. Could have been something to have looked at, actually, to maybe have gone after it that way. But not going to matter anymore. They're just going to go Ultimate Raid this turn, and then they have a Zamazenta next turn. They're actually going after my Dedenne specifically here, which going down to one prize card. Zation will get set up. Yeah, there's no reason to stick around in this one anymore. Not that I can see. I'm trying to think through everything, see if there's an out here. Even if we attack this turn, draw three prize cards. They should attack next turn and they draw, they KO anything we want to do, right? No way out, I don't think. Dugong's gone, Mew's gone, or Seal's gone. Can't even get to the Dugong. Our bench got clogged up just a little bit by the, uh, <laughs> by the Maw while there. All right, we're going to have to give this one over. Yeah, L to the ADP. Like I said, it's a rough matchup. Let's see if we don't, hopefully don't hit one in the next game, though. All right, getting into another one. We did win the coin flip again. We will be going second. Like I said, going second is, is just the way to go. All right, we got the Bunnelby start. The rest of the hand... Uh, no outs yet. I cannot tell you how many hands I worked out of uh, to win games with in the tournament that looked exactly like this. So very far from giving up. But yeah, I played through a lot of hands that looked very similar to this exact hand um, to be able to come back and win games. And boss orders off the top isn't going to help us. We got plenty of outs off the top. We got quick balls, the Dene, research would be fine. Uh, what's the other one? The, um, the really good card. What is it called? Roxy. There's a research. Hey, and we're back in it. Um, what do we want to say? I think we're up against Pikaram here. Go ahead and play this. Get rid of a Mr. Rhyme. Maybe should check my energy count because I don't know if I even want to save that in particular. About saving the boss. Boss is good, but not that great. I just let it all go, to be honest. Hold on to the Primate Wisdom for after. The triple's like not even that important. Like we can give up an energy. We play a lot of energy in this deck, so yeah, not donking my opponent. They don't need to be scared of me donking them. They sent me the sad face. Uh, just last uh, last turn. Yeah, they don't need to be scared. Don't worry, I'm not donking you. Deck is not that aggressive. Um, I might not even be able to one hit KO this next turn if I don't attach this twin here and attack. Yeah, I can draw a little bit better than that. I feel like I'm just not gonna go ahead and attack. I don't want to get static shocked and losing energy. I think I want to KO that thing. Um, if we get Marnied, probably would want access to the research. Actually, Pikaram does play Marnie, so play around that. Hey, another one of those. And I don't even think I want to put the Bunnelby. We can give up like two Bunnelby, sometimes even three or all of them, especially if we have all of our Senesi. I don't want to bench this Bunnelby yet because I'm very fine with just uh, ditching it next turn. There's a big charm. Now I kind of wish I had swung into... That's a big Dedenne, 200 HP. Yeah, now I wish I had swung in there for a little bit of damage. 
That uh, big charm is a game changer for sure. I probably should have just swung in there and just like bit the bullet on the energy there. Okay, Poltergeist. Twin research. We got ooh, quite a few in there. Yeah, we're gonna whiff this. We're gonna whiff this one a KO. Almost certainly here. Um, sense. Grab the Mr. Rhyme. We need to find some cards. Tea break first. We're running out of attackers now. I want to go for the one a KO. Okay, hold up. We're not done yet. See this to Dene. Got another tea break coming up. How much are we swinging for right now? 140. I can get up to 160 here. Um, if we could even just get up to 180, then we could clean it up with Roxy's potential the next, next turn. Um, I don't think we're able to do that though. Go ahead and hide one of these energies. Uh, let's put one of those back. We can still win this even if we don't get this one AKO. So I could quick ball away the Bunnelby. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be the 180. All right, I'm gonna go for it. 180. Grab the Senesti. Probably grab a Dene so we can just draw more cards with T Break next turn. Can't get rid of it. Uh, we're, we can't, we're just one, I maybe missed sequence something in here before. Got 180. All right, and then party. So if we can get into a Weezing, which we do have one of those left, if we can get into a Weezing, we can KO this to Dene, but it is possible we actually just get Tingly returned here, which would be pretty funny, actually. Um, yeah, we could possibly just get Tingly returned here, but then they want to have Tag Ball to work with later, which is pretty good for us. We're a one prize deck, so them wanting to take two prizes in one attack is a pretty big deal as well for them, so I don't mind them... Um, I don't mind them, you know, using... Yeah, there's the Tingle Return. We actually can't move this turn, which is a little bit annoying for us. We can just keep ditching more Dedenes into the discard pile, though, so that's not bad. Tea break. Again. Okay. Bench the Bunnelby this time. And... Gonna go ahead and Primate Wisdom. A... Say the... Roxy almost here is what I want to save. Maybe an energy. We have a lot of energy in our hand, so if they Marnied us, we have a lot of energy on the bottom of our deck. So I'm going to go ahead and Primate with some A and energy here, because I probably want to keep this guy around. What do we get? Another Roxy. I want to save the Roxy almost. The Weezing more targets, but maybe that's too greedy and it won't matter later on. Maybe that's just too greedy. Let's just go ahead and Roxy here, actually. I should have done that first. Yeah, now that I was, I was like thinking about it more, I was like, I don't know, this seems kind of greedy. I don't think I need to be this greedy here. Um, great ball. Let's see if we can get a Senesti. No, we got it to Dene, though. That's fine. And... Tea break again. Let's see if we get the, uh... Senesti. Nope. More energy, though. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one of these on my Bunnelby at this point. We have so much energy. I was thinking about not, but now that we have so much energy, I'm, I'm good to let a couple go here. Um, I'm kind of worried about running out of attackers at this point, actually, especially if they play the Zigzagoons. Um, because they could goon this. Oh, man. I guess I would send up, uh... A Rangaroo at that point. Yeah, I would set up a Rangaroo to tank for a turn for sure. Uh, so they got 260 HP on this Picaram. So let's see how much we're doing right now. We're doing 220, 240. There's an unhappy face from my opponent. They didn't really lose that much. What are they unhappy about? That's not that bad at all. Um, we're almost got, we almost got the one hit KO on this Picaram. We're a little bit short, so I could go for the boss on the Dene if I felt like I had to go with that route instead. That would also be fine. Um, yeah, but if we could get, if we have our last Dene in the deck, then we'll definitely want to knock out the Pikaram. So we're doing uh, 200, 220, 240, need 260, right? We're doing 240 here. 200, 240, yeah, almost there. We're almost there. That one damage from the Weezing making a big difference here. Oh, they really had to reach for this full blitz. So this would be a, a big KO if we can get. They really had to reach for that full blitz there. Um, Coco Prison popped, E-Switch popped. All right, all right. Yeah, it's happening. Full Blitz is going down. Crushing Hammers. Ooh, I should have known they played Crushing Hammers when I saw the Yell Grunt in the deck. And I probably shouldn't have attached that to when I forgot about Crushing Hammers there. I think a mistake for me. As soon as I saw the Yell Grunt, I should have assumed Crushing Hammers. Not all Picaroms right now play the Crushing Hammers. Feels about 50-50. But uh, when they play the Yell Grunt, they play Crushing Hammers. There's no way you don't play the Yell Grunt without Crushing Hammers. Or at least I would assume. Every build I've seen has gone that around. So I would, I'm, I'm fine with making that assumption here. All right, goodbye. He guy, we want that last Adene, but I don't know if it's in the deck. I guess we're gonna have to find out if our last Adene is in the deck or not. It wasn't in my hand before, though. Oh no, was it? I just couldn't discard it, right? Did I have that? Is that what my? No, that was like on turn one. I'm gonna try. I should have just KO two. It killed that. 
All right. Uh, Bunny got the twin. Draw. Triple. I'm gonna start with Great Ball. Dene. I want to hold his hand for a while. I don't want to boss this turn unless I have to. If I have to, I will. So what do I quick ball here then? Maybe put something back. Try and find something new. Could quick ball the Dene. It doesn't feel great though to get rid of the Dene here. Nessie's got to come down. Could quick ball the Eldegoss. I don't like that either though. I don't like. That. I don't get rid of this. All right, let's go Primate Wisdom the Dene because he seems good, but not right now. So research. I don't mind getting rid of that. Let's go with that. The Dene is prized. Uh, should we take the Dene for later then? Poltegeist is in here, so we can still win in three turns. Let's grab. I'm not gonna tag bolt me. Grab the Dene back for options. This. That should be doing. Let's count again. 240. Um, so we do KO that Bolton, I think. Yeah, Bolton goes down. Let's take him out. Mad party. Not enough energy to tag bolt next turn. They're going to draw a prize. And then we're going to go one hit KO, one hit KO, and the game will be over. My last Adene somewhere in the prize cards. I don't know where, but he's hanging out in there. Didn't check him at the beginning of the game. Super hard. So um, yeah, sometimes it happens. It's fine, though. Still in a spot to win the game. We win the game before our opponent. That's all that really matters at this point. As long as they knock out our Bunnelby. Actually, even if they don't knock out our Bunnelby, we'll still win the game before our opponent. We're still chilling even if they don't knock out my Bundle B this turn. But they're going to be knocking out the Bundle B this turn, most likely. I guess they could go for the boss on the Guru to put one less um, lost uh, Mad Party in the discard pile, but then I could get the Poltegeist anyways and then just get rid of it at that point, so that wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's see how many big charms. They're down both big charms, so I'm not worried about the big charms, I don't think. Another big charm on the Raichu Raichu. And I could always boss if they do get it. So I think we just go Poltegeist, draw for turn, see what it is. The other did any. All right, great ball, perfect. Pulty Geist, bench, or evolve. I'm going to attach here. I have no boss left, and for, just in case I need one, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I'm gonna bench this coffee, I think, because I have. Uh, I don't want it in the deck anymore, and I'm gonna primate wisdom a Dedenne just in case they marnie me. I'll draw into a Dedenne for sure. There's a twin. We can't put that in play though, and then go ahead and mad party for the knockout here. And yeah, we are a KO away. We're Marnie proofed right now. We have a Dedenne on top. Uh, we got a lot of outs to Dedenne or Eldegoss in this quick ball. There's that Dedenne. We have a quick ball, two Dedenne. Eldegoss gets us a research, which will get us the energy. The biggest thing here is we got the second Poltegeist in play. So we're ready with that. Um, this also becomes a draw out if they do stamp us to that one, which they do have another reset stamp left. Almost every Pikaram deck, they live off the restamps. The reset stamps right now, usually combo it with the Tandem Shock to really get. Uh, Buy some time to put some damage in play, basically, with Pigaram. Not quite as explosive or quickly game-ending of a deck as it used to be. Can't quite easily as easily get to the Tag Bolts. Um, no E-Powers. Yeah, they know the Marnie's useless here, so they don't even play the Marnie to try and disrupt my end. 6-4 to four is not worth it. They need that Reset Stamp, and they're going super hard for it here. Gets the, uh, what did they just grab there? A Dedenne. Uh, nope, they got it. All right, all right. I thought they were going to keep going. All right, one. It is a Roxy. That doesn't quite cut it. Maybe I'll be regretting benching this this coffee now. Wondrous Labyrinth. Do we have a triple left? All right, we got two triples left. I got scared for a second. Maybe I should have gone with the twin instead. I could have Primate Wisdom first and then gone with the twin. Probably should have done that because I do have an air balloon left, so they can never trap anything in the active from me. I'll eventually draw into the out to move it. Um, yeah, Labyrinth is in play. So it takes away the out of that one twin I have left. But I do have two triples left. Still in a fine spot. Um, just need a good top deck here. They're thinking. I mean, there's no way they don't tandem shock here. And even if they do tandem shock here, I mean, I guess I could. If I get the twin or the air balloon, I like I send up the Poltegeist. If I whiff and get the twin, the air balloon, are they out of boss's orders ever? They're down three boss. They still have their Elder Goss, though. So, yeah. They can just go knockout, knockout, and just take me out of the game. So, I just have to go send up the Poltegeist here for sure. Not worth trying to play around that. Vitality ban, I guess, is what they were thinking about here. And then pass. Oh, they can't attack because they put Wonder Slap into play. All right, well, that was a mistake then. Top deck triple and Mad Party for our last prize card. Uh, all right, got the dub here against the Pika Romta Canel 2 in ADP, but it is a tough matchup, so um, kind of close. Just a little bit short, but a little bit of a pretty good aggressive turn. Maul Wild kind of killed us in that one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the games. If you did, give the video a like. Join, join the content. Be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.